Local businesses have a really hard time advertising. They're trying to compete in a market where you have professional marketers for big brands, and professional direct response marketers like this guy. The local business owners don't have much money to pay for ads, so you end up getting some really terrible ads. this first ad is pretty ridiculous. It's pretty bad. Is your lawyer balding? Call this guy instead. I mean, there's absolutely zero connection to balding and wanting to hire a lawyer. Does anybody care if a lawyer is balding or not? No, it just makes no sense. Maybe in the mind of Norman, he somehow thought that, hmm, balding? means somebody's smart or stupid. I, I don't know. I don't know if they're saying it's a good thing if a lawyer's balding or it's a bad thing if a lawyer is balding. I mean, I have no idea here. This ad just is completely terrible. Other than the fact that they have a phone number pretty large on the ad, it's still not large enough if you ask me because billboards, people are driving by. They don't have much time to focus on the ad. Billboards are generally better for branding purposes. I just, I don't see this ad working at all. Terrible ad. As a side note, if you wanna help local businesses market their services online on Facebook, Instagram, Google, and YouTube, sign up for my software, Marketing Tech. You'll learn how to work with it. We pay out up to $300 per month per business you sign up. It's a great way to earn out a lot of money, and we've paid out over four and a half million dollars to different affiliates of my businesses over the last few years. This ad's kind of funny. I mean, car wash, we give the best hand job in town. I mean, Sort of hilarious, but it makes no connection to a, me wanting to get my car washed there, right? They're trying to be funny. In this case, they think, oh, car wash hand job, ha ha ha. When you're getting a car wash, you don't care if your car wash is funny or not. I'm looking at price. Can, do they get a good job done? Do they also wax and do the interior? Do they handle leather? You know, these are the factors I'm thinking of when I get a car wash. This ad does not address anything. Hey, we're, we're funny, like use us instead. A lot of marketers try to use humor in their advertisements to sell products. And 99% of the time, it makes no sense. It doesn't work. It's not what people are there for. I remember early on in the history of this YouTube channel even, I used a lot more humor, and especially in my ads, because most of the time I'm on YouTube, I'm actually, I'm paying for ads. I, I spend thousands of dollars a day. I spend anywhere between two to $20,000 every single day in buying advertising space on YouTube. And it's very easy for me to see from the data that funny doesn't sell. Because if folks are looking to learn a new business model, if folks are looking to buy most products or, or get a new job or learn how to work from home, they're not interested in humor. They're interested in effectiveness. They're interested in, can I trust this person? Can he get the job done? Does he have the knowledge to teach me a business model such as affiliate marketing, which is the business model I teach and I teach local marketing as well. People don't care if you're funny. They care if you're going to help them get ahead in life. So my advice to the marketer here as would be with many ads is just stick to the straight and narrow and focus on what you're selling. Don't focus on being funny. Right now, uh, this, this is creepy, man. I, I saw this ad. I have two kids, right? I have two beautiful girls uh, that are two and four years old. Mind that child? I mean, that just screams to me like, ah, yeah, I'm gonna mind my child and they're not gonna get candy from your freaking truck. It just looks super creepy. It looks like one of those creepy vans and that where it says mind the child, there's like a little door. It's like the size of a child. So is that door for children to go in the back of the van or something? I don't know. This ad freaks me the heck out. Uh, next. This billboard for a diamond uh, company, I, I get what they're trying to do here. They're trying to say where babies come from, it comes from marriage and buying a girl a ring. That sort of makes sense, kind of. Not really, because they're trying to say you should buy a ring so you could make 
babies or have conjugal relationships with a significant other? I don't know. You really have to think about it. And in a billboard, when you're in a car driving by a billboard at high speeds, you're not thinking too hard and making these logical leaps of, oh, if I buy diamond from this jeweler, I'm going to be able to make a baby and that's what I want, right? It, it That's not good marketing. First off, this ad is not selling the actual jeweler very well. They're selling diamonds. It appears, as a marketer, they're trying to sell diamonds, not buying a diamond ring from that particular store. The other problem here is that the actual name of the jeweler is unbelievably hard to read in this crazy cursive font. Now, I get they're trying to be fancy. When you're doing marketing, you have to think of the location and the setting that the person reading the ad is in. And in this case, it's a billboard. So the person is in a car going 35 miles an hour on average down the road. They're not going to have the time to really squint and read the name of the jeweler. And furthermore, they don't even say where the jeweler is located. Uh, this is horrible advertising. They don't say how to find the jewelry store. They don't say where it's located. Uh, there's a big tree below the billboard. So even if the jeweler is right below, it's not clear about that either. Good ads that do the same sort of thing would be a McDonald's ad. If you've ever seen a McDonald's billboard ad, McDonald's billboard ads are very good because they always say next exit or they will put a huge image and they just say exit here turn right they're very good about that in letting you know exactly where their store is because again they're trying to get people to go into the store so mcdonald's does well this company horribly and to round off our final ad here this is uh just kind of hilarious because EJC LTD Building Services, it, in this case, do they know that their initials spell out ejaculated? Skeet, skeet, skeet. You can't say they say that on the radio. Skeet, 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 skeet. Uh, it's just, it's kind of funny. I think this was an oversight on the sense of the company, but it just spells out ejaculated. Uh, I didn't even frankly read what what this company did until I saw the van. I don't even know if this is an ad, but I thought this was funny. And the final, final ad, uh, I'm just gonna play this for a second. It's a mall ad. And in this case, uh, well, we just have to watch. Oh, we'll watch a little bit of it. East Hill, we're back to school. Denim, haircut, backpacks, backpacks, come get your backpack boots and pants and boots and pants new shoes get yourself an outfit denim in this case it's ridiculous the ad is out of this world ridiculous i actually think it's done a fairly good job and let me explain why first off this ad is so ridiculous it's sort of like a pattern interrupt it's almost semi-memorable. But here's what really makes it memorable and effective, is that this is a video ad for a mall on TV. And again, the setting, of the person watching TV in their home, they're seeing ads for all these nationwide concerns, you know, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, stuff that is not necessarily local. And then they get an ad for an extremely local, place you know this this mall center and it's it's sort of interesting the fact that it is so targeted and so local and it's on tv gives you something to talk about and also tv ads are often seen depending on what time this ad aired which would matter to me frankly oftentimes tv ads are watched with other people if this is shown at during a sports game or something like that i think this ad would be very effective because you're with other folks and you would turn to your friend and you'd say, oh my God, what is this ad? This is ridiculous. And it will be almost a talking subject and hopefully get people just talking a little bit about the mall. And, and what I also like is that they're sticking to the things that are in the mall. Uh, they're, they're talking, they're showing real local people from that area and they're showing real stores and all of the things you can buy. So I actually think this ad is well done, even though it is 
unbelievably ridiculous. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, just hit the notification bell and the subscribe icon if you'd like to learn more about marketing and see more content about how you can work from home, how to do advertising, how to do marketing, etc. And if you really enjoyed it, just go down in the comments and write in a big hoorah. If you're looking to learn more about how to work from home and start a marketing business, I have some links in the description. Again, you can work with my software with your local community selling online advertisements to local businesses and helping them set up local ads through my software. And it's free to sign up and get paid from and you can sign up for the software and everything will be explained as you go through the sign up process and you may want to make sure to link your bank account so that you can get paid out um, all of it is done securely through our partner stripe if you are not located in the u.s or maybe you're more interested you don't want to talk to local business owners and you just want to be behind the scenes of your computer and you want to learn how to market products online then check out my training, which is my number one recommended way to make money, which is the super affiliate system. I have a free webinar training you can sign up for to learn how to do the business model that I've made over $20 million with, which is called affiliate marketing, where you're a sales agent essentially for products online. And you need to get people to click on your link and go buy a product from Amazon or Walmart or Target or other companies like ClickBank and you earn commissions. And I've earned over $21 million doing this, and I've trained tens of thousands of folks how they can do it too, and I've helped them earn their first money they've ever earned online, so I encourage you to check it out. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.